What's up guys, Cam Photo, and today I got the Fuji 80mm macro in. Uh, came in a couple days early, surprisingly, but I'm not sure why this was to be here November 30th or December 1st, but came uh, the day before Thanksgiving, so I'm not complaining. Let's open it up and check it out. We got the normal Fuji packaging, 80mm. Let's check it out. Open her up. Of course, we got the uh, little pouch for it. Manual. That's a little bit of a weird box. Ooh. And there she is, the long awaited. Some people have been waiting for this for years. Lens hood. Sweet. So it's still cold from delivery. So first impressions, just looking at it, um, it's big. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Uh, very heavy, I'd say, but it's pretty beautiful looking. It's got a nice big uh, focus ring on here. Got the nice aperture, like always. Got a nice front element. So I got a couple other lenses here to compare the size. Here is the 18 to 55 kit lens, and that's how much bigger it is. So it's quite about a lot bigger than the kit lens. I know a lot of people have that, so that's a good thing to compare it to. Here is the 55 to 200, and it is about half an inch to an inch bigger than the 55 to 200. And finally. The Beast. Here it is next to the 50-140 So you can see the 50-140 is a bit bigger and the 50-140 is a little bit heavier but not too much heavier. So yeah, this thing is a beast of a lens. Just like all the Fuji lenses, it's got a floating element in there so it just knocks back and forth. It's weird. And I got my Fuji X-T2. So yeah, <laughs> there it is on the Fuji X-T2. It is, <laughs> it is a giant lens. Um, wow. So yeah, it's a um, big lens. It kind of makes the noise, it's like how on the 50 to 140, it makes a little humming when the OIS is active. It's pretty cold here, not a lot of little critters around, but I'll try to get some sample shots as soon as I can with it. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.